Hello folks and welcome to the channel. I got another mod drop for you. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I got a few of them I got to do. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this mod for you. Before we do that though, let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like the following video, make sure to smash that like button. And then when you, when you hit the like button, share it on your social media. That really helps out the channel. If you got any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave them down below the video and I'll get back to you. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for all. Even though YouTube doesn't like to share my content with my subscribers, you can follow me on X or one of my other social medias. Links are in the description. Those are the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, click the join button or the super thanks button underneath the video. Otherwise, look down in the description. You can throw some beer money in my tip jar on Ko-Fi. All right, guys. Let's get into this. All right, guys. So, some of you might recognize this mod. R18 pin 08 lingerie set for SSE. It comes off the Nexus. It was ported by B-Chick from the original LE version. Now... I downloaded it because I really liked it, but I found out there was problems with it. For one, it didn't have uh, this any CBBE body slides or 3BA body slides. And so I got to checking in the mod, and the only thing that was actually ported to SSE was just the plugin. The meshes weren't optimized for CBBE, and like I said, there was no um actual cbb se body slides and the body wasn't was still the old le body and it wasn't it wasn't very compatible with my setup so i fixed it um what i mean by it, i fixed it i made made it true cbbe with body slides for both cbbe 3ba and I also uh, added some more colors to it, and I made it all craftable so you can craft it on the forge. So let's go ahead and get into that, and we'll craft it on the forge, guys. All right, guys, unlike the original version, which you would only craft on a tanning rack, I've made it to where you have to go to the forge to craft it because this, these outfits are also light armor, and they require leather, leather strips, and stealing. And you're gonna need the uh, steel smithing perk. So make sure you have the steel smithing perk. And when you go to the forge, go ahead and go into it here. If you're not using Sky UI, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, look in the steel smithing menu. Otherwise, in Guy UI, just type in R18. Oh, try that again. R18. And it will all come up. Now, the male versions are going to have uh, different um, ground objects. That's not a big deal. So, this is basically only for females. So, as you can see, it takes two leather and two leather strips and a steel ingot. So you go ahead and craft these up. And we'll do a few of them. You can see I got different colors here. Gray, pink, green, blue, purple, red, and white. And I have all four of the sets done. And some of them, like... The ones with the heels come with the heels attached to the outfit so you don't have to actually craft those things but if you have um if you don't like your girl walking around walking around in light armor with no shoes on because like this here doesn't have shoes the the purple the d set doesn't have shoes i included some sandals in black blue green and red so and brown so you can go ahead and 
craft those up. Now, you can go ahead over to your workbench, and depending on, you know, whatever your uh, smithing skill is, is... Oops. Put your hands down, boy. Depending on whatever your smithing skill is will depend on what your how much the uh, armor value is. Now, it just requires leather to uh, craft it, uh, improve it. So you can just go ahead and improve it here. These are uh, Frostfall compatible and survival mode compatible. I added that in too. Uh, of course, with Frostfall, you don't really have to actually have them compatible. Frostfall in its uh, MCM menu lets you uh, make stuff compatible. All right. So I'm going to switch over to one of my female characters and show this off to you in my in my in Skystone Castle, guys. All right, guys. Uh, let's take a look at look at these outfits now. What I'm going to do on the background video here, I'm just going to show you the basic outfit and then I'm going to show you still shots of each of the co different colors of each outfit. Now, when I first ported this over, when I first got this mod and was looking at it, it didn't, didn't fit with the CBBE SE body at all. So, what I did was, is I fitted onto the CBBE SE body and I made sure all of it worked out and these are built out in the CBBE zeroed sliders body that means just your basic default CBBE body now the mod does come with CBBE and 3BA body slides so if you like the 3BA body you can build build out each of the outfits and out and body slide and um the mod is each of the outfits is frostfall and survival mode compatible they will show up as light armor in your inventory on so when you're wearing them you can like actually have a little bit of armor you know it's anime armor, man. Less is more. Now, there are multiple colors beyond the original ones that came with the mod. Uh, these are all all them texture. All those textures are d done by myself, and I added them all into the mod. And the mod, w the outfit will support any CBBE skin type, like Demonica. Uh, my Divine Nine skin, Fair skin, uh, Mature skin, whatever you happen to use. So I'm going to go ahead and let this let this play for a while and you'll get to see all of the different outfits.
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to download this mod, look down in the description. There's a link to it there in the description. It's only available. The improved CBBE version is only available on Shaken Mods. Uh, it's comp it's going to be completely free to download. So you ain't got to worry about that. Don't. Don't listen to the thing, the the bad things people say. Oh, shaking mods is, ah, oh, it's all paid. Not no, it's not. No, it's not. So go ahead and if you want it, go ahead and get it. That's cool. Leave me a comment underneath on the mod page, or you can leave me a comment underneath the video here if you got any questions or comments. And remember, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And then share it on your social media so other people can check this mod out. And like I said, if you got any questions or comments, just leave them below the video. And I'll get back to you because I read all of my comments. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell for more live streams and standalone videos. And even though YouTube doesn't like to actually, you know, tell my subscribers that I've uploaded something. You can follow me on X or one of my other social medias. Look down in the description. All the links are down there. Those are the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, click the join button or the super thanks button. Otherwise, look down in the description. You can throw some beer money in my tip jar on Ko-Fi. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. And remember, until next time, keep your sword sharp. Don't be a milk drinker. And always watch the skies, traveler.